Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos and we're continuing to create our Pinterest account for business. So in the previous video I created the account and I'm waiting to uh, confirm my email address for all the features. So I've clicked on the top right, there's always a way to get back to your main screen. The name of your company is right there. So I've clicked it and since this is my first time using Pinterest, I get this sort of uh, introduction, this uh, tour of Pinterest. So first I've got collect pins on different boards. Make a board for each thing you're into. Recipes to try, places to visit, whatever inspires you most. Close that. So uh, boards in Pinterest are where I collect the things that I like online. So the big concept about uh, Pinterest is that uh, you're sharing content, usually pictures, that people can pin to their own boards. And every picture that is pinned automatically has attribution so if so it leads the person back to where the picture came from so think about that if someone if i pin a picture of this month's cupcake onto my board here and someone else likes it because i shot it really well or it's uh, very tasty looking and they repin it they pin it to their own board then their followers will see it and then their followers could see it and repin it and better yet perhaps one of those followers will eventually click the link and that link automatically then takes us back to our website where we could make a sale get people to sign up for the newsletter etc that's the whole point of pinterest for business but in order to be taken legitimately as a business we should set up our account a bit so notice here i want to change my picture i can click that upload a picture. I should have one handy here, the same one I've been using for my other networks. I just need to remember where I put it. Always organize yourself. There it is. So I've got my picture here, and again, as you as you set up your profile, you may get a, these other sort of shout-outs that tell you, want to find more pins? Discover pins by category or search for the exact thing you're looking for. Mm, I'll get back to that. Thank you. So what else can I do here? There's a gear where I have other options. Edit profile, account settings, analytics, and log out. So keep that in mind. That, um, that gear... It's going to be very important. I want to continue to edit my profile a bit more. There's my business name, username, uh, about me location. Let me put a location here. And a website. I want to verify my website. This, just like every other social network we've talked about basically, uh, needs a little bit of a technical setup. So I, I can just take you up to this point, depending on your website, Basically, you need to copy this piece of code and paste it into the head section of your index.html file. If that sounds um, technical, it is, so get someone that you know to do it for you. The other way is instead to verify by upload. Again, you'll need to download this file, upload it to your web server, and then verify. If you don't know what that means, you'll need to get someone to do it for you. So I'll do this later. But the benefits of verifying your site are that you have a little badge on your site that shows that you're the legitimate business represented by this Pinterest account. You want to do that when you can. And so the customization of my account is important so that I create this brand awareness and the text here helps people find my board. Now I'm going to check if I got my email verification yet because I do want to verify my business, my email address, and get the full benefits of Pinterest. So this was just a quick video about reminding you to fully set up your profile and there isn't much to it. Uh, when we come back, we'll look at the other things that we should deal with, such as account settings and analytics. But I want to start using P Pinterest with all its glory on the next video.